Well, I did not expect to be making this video today, guys, nor did I ever think I would find myself in this situation on FC24. I've been trading on this game for eight years. I've never done anything to break the rules, bend the rules, or really do anything against terms of service. But evidently, in the last couple of days, the last hours, I don't even know, EA has decided, or some computer at EA has decided, that I have broken the rules. And I sat down in this very chair about 45 minutes ago to record the nightly YouTube video that we always upload, and I noticed something was wrong. I loaded into my account and I saw my coin amount was zero. My coins vanished, gone, and I have no idea why. But what it has, it has really incited in me is the conversation that we've talked about plenty of times on stream and it needs to be had today because this is really exposing a problem with EA's systems. And I know that EA is going to watch this video and I want to provide some raw unfiltered and pretty real true factual feedback as somebody who plays this game day in and day out has very many contacts in the community that this very situation has happened to this year and it's a big problem this year and there are ways to fix it and they need to be acting upon those ways but it needs to be talked about and this video is also not for me to say ea give me my coins back please i can't live without them that's not what I'm doing with this video today, guys, right? This video is to expose the problem and also to make you aware and inform you of this situation because it is happening at an alarming rate this year. I have heard of way more coin wipes and transfer market bans in this Ultimate Team than ever before. And I think we can pinpoint some of the problems. And that's what I want to do today in this video because, yeah, guys, this is the last thing that I expected. Like, uh, I had literally zero thoughts ever of this entire year of this game that I would potentially be coin wiped. And I'm still 0% sure I, I did, don't know what happened. I'm 100% sure that I did nothing wrong. And I am 0% sure that uh, I know what this ban is about. And I don't know what I'm even saying. Words are a bit difficult because I'm, this is still fresh and this is still in my mind. But I'm thinking clearly and let's process this thing together. Let's first talk about why EA even bans people and why people have been getting banned a lot this year on this game. Well, guys, people are banned on this game because they are involved in activities that EA doesn't like. And there are rules, there are terms of service on this game that if you break, then you potentially could be banned. Rules that say like you cannot transfer coins. You cannot buy and sell a player and transfer those coins from one account to another. That is probably the most common reason that people get banned, right? And that is a rule because EA doesn't want you to be getting your coins from anywhere else. But the store, they want you to be opening packs with FC points and getting coins from those or playing the game and getting coins in that way. Engaging with their product for you to get coins and build up your coins to then go buy players, do SBCs, get on the market and interact with the game even further, right? That is the whole point to why they ban people. They don't want coin transfers being a thing. And one of the things that they have put in place to stop coin transfers in FIFA 15 was price ranges. And that was not very loved in FIFA 15 when they did it. That was my first full year of playing Ultimate Team. So I've really only ever known Ultimate Team with price ranges, right? It seems so like common for us now to have these price ranges where a player can be listed, a minimum and a maxima. It's funny we bring this up because we talked about this just yesterday on stream with this crazy scenario with Reese James, right? His minimum price was 400,000 coins, which was a mistake, by the way. This card was 290,000 coins on the market, and then last Friday, EA mistakenly upgraded his minimum price, the minimum that he could sell for on the market, to 400,000 coins. He was there for five days before they noticed or cared to change it, and yesterday he went from 400k down to 58k. If you bought a, a Reese James for 400,000 coins and sold it for like 50 to 60,000 coins where he is right now, there's actually a high likelihood that you could be banned and coin wiped. That is not what I did. Don't worry. I looked at Reese James yesterday, didn't buy him, right? But that's the sort of stuff that is a kind of a flag, you would guess, for a potential account ban on this game. And because EA puts those flags and they kind of have those, uh, what would you call them, parameters set in place because what happens when you transfer coins, right? 
Let's say you transfer coins from one account to another. How does that even work? I probably shouldn't even be talking about this. They don't want me to talk about this, but this is how it works, right? You buy a card off the market for a low price and you sell it for the maximum price that it can sell for so that you transfer those coins over to a different account, right? Usually there's some money involved. People buy coins in that way. That's how it works. It's a big problem. And EA tried to stop all of that by putting in the price ranges, but little did they actually know it made the problem worse. This is a card that is a coin transfer machine. You can go to and look at this card on the market almost any time of day and notice that it is selling for a price astronomically higher than what it actually is worth. Sam Kerr, uh, what is this? The Nike, the first promo of the year, the Nike card promo. This card is a 200,000 coin card and it was 185K just a couple of weeks ago, but it's a 200,000 coin card with a 2 million coin maximum price range. Why is this card have a 2 million maximum price range? There's no way this card should be anywhere near close to 2 mil. If you know the market at all in this game, as somebody who is in depth with the market daily in and out in this game, this is a card that I've seen used for coin transfers the entire year because our price range is so messed up and just wrong, right? EA, all you have to do is minimize, minimize that price range and you will stop some of the coin transfers and make it a lot harder for them to transfer coins, but they still keep these random few cards with very, very high price ranges and people still transfer coins. The, the coin business, coin selling business in Ultimate Team across the world is a multi-million dollar business. I know people that are involved with these coin businesses and I don't interact with those businesses at all, um, but I hear about some of the things that are going on in that realm. It is ridiculous. The number of coins that are A, available and B, that get sold during uh, specific types times of the year is ridiculous. And so EA is trying to stop all this with these price ranges and by banning and flagging these accounts. But here's the problem. If there's a multi-million dollar business out there for coin transferring websites, are they really stopping the problem? No, hello, it's not being stopped at all. It is still thriving and well. And what is happening on the flip side is they are banning people who should not be banned. I am example number one. I have never transferred coins on this account, on any account of mine ever, and I don't plan to. So whatever trade that was flagged by EA's system, because by the way, it's a system as far as I'm as far as I know, it is a computer system that updates price ranges, that increases them, reduces them, and even sets them with maybe a little bit of human intervention and employee interaction with those price ranges when the cards are first released, or maybe some, maybe like with Reese James, maybe they realize, oh, the computer messed up, so we gotta go fix this sort of thing. I don't know the ins and outs of how it works, but I have been told, and maybe this in information is not factual, but I've been told that that is how this stuff works inside of EA's kind of system. It's a computer, it's an algorithm, it's a software, it's something on a computer that changes these price ranges. And also the computer system bans those players when they think something suspect, whatever parameters they have set for banning accounts and for saying, oh, this trade or this movement from this account was something suspect. We're going to ban them, right? Because of this action. That's all set by a software. And it's been happening a lot this year because of the price ranges to bring that back up again. It's these cards like Kobe Mainu that was extinct um, for basically the first month of the game because everybody wanted to put him in an Evo. So many people have been banned this year for buying bronzes and silver cards. Now, yes, it does have to do with leaks. It has to do with leaks by a lot of people getting leaks for what a um, SBC or uh, rather an evolution is going to be released as. And they invest in the players that are going to fit that evolution that they think a lot of people are going to want to go out and buy to do the Evo for. And then they sell those at a crazy high price. Here's the best tip I can give you. If there's ever a card that you own that is selling for maximum price or it is extinct on the market, never, I don't even care if you just have one, never list a card at maximum price. If this Rigoni is extinct, which he was for a couple of months during the year because of an evolution, if he's ever extinct or anything is ever extinct, list it for like 9.5K, 9.7K. Remember when Kyle Walker was extinct? I know a couple people that got banned because Kyle Walker was extinct for that Evo during the year, right? He was like 21,000 coins. 
extinct. The guys who didn't get banned were the ones who invested in that card and then sold it for a thousand coins less for 20k instead of 21,000 coins when he was extinct at 21k. And also the flip side. Guys, I have a close friend who bought Arda Guler and was trading with this card after he went out of packs. Kind of forgot that he had the card, right? This card had a minimum price of 43,000 coins, somewhere right around in here. He was 43,000 coins minimum price. I had a friend who had nine of them. He sold nine Arda Gulers for a minimum price of 43,000 coins. He lost like five to 10K per card. So he lost like 90,000 coins. He just wanted to get his coins back, right? He sold at the minimum price range. And the next day, banned. Coin wiped. 2.7 mil for him. Gone. Has not come back. So it is a problem that these computer systems have the control to ban, take away coins. And I mean, I'm not market banned, I think. I mean, I go and search the market and you can see here that I can search cards. I can add them to my transfer targets and it at least allows me to do that. I don't think I'm truly market banned. I think I just got my coins wiped and removed. It's like almost a strike one feeling like, oh, you did something that was against terms of service. Strike one. We're going to take your coins. Not going to ban you, right? I don't know, but this sort of situation with coin bans and wipes and then market bans as well is crazy off the charts this year and it's been impacting so many people. And I am calling for EA to change this. I'm calling for EA to care a little bit more about this system and maybe it's just fine tuning some of these parameters that they have set. Maybe it's a new system. Maybe it's just, I don't know, periodic checkups on this system. But here's the problem with this, guys, because this impacts such a small percent of the community, right? You think about the Messi situation. They said impacted 0.7% of the entire Ultimate Team community. This situation that we're talking about with bans and coin wipes probably impacts even less of the community than that, just being completely honest. But it impacts people who are supposedly doing wrong things, but who are actually not doing anything wrong. And the people that are buying and selling the coins and that are actually breaking the rules, which again, if you're doing that, I don't have any hard feelings for you. I'm just kind of talking about it, how it goes. If you're buying and selling coins in this game, you know the risk that is associated with that, right? You get it. You know you're breaking the terms of service and that you could get banned. But more so, the people that are doing that are getting banned less than the people that are just playing the game as it is meant to be. And yeah, maybe they're privy. Like I mentioned to the Ragoni situation or the Kyle Walker situation. Yes, people have leaks. But if somebody has leaks, again, the number of people that actually have the leak and invest is so small. Yes, it does create a market impact. But the number of people that have that information is so small compared to the rest of the game in totality that it's like, it really is such a small thing. And that's why these bans are such a small thing as well, because it's impacting such a small percentage of the user base. The average player who got, who plays ultimate team doesn't even care about a ultimate team ban because they're, they will never even come close to it, but they could somehow also accidentally get coin wiped and banned and boom, think about it. If you're EA, you don't want to ban somebody who's a casual user or somebody who just enjoys playing the game. You don't want to wipe their coins away. Um, especially wrongly so, because then they're not going to want to come back and play your game um, at all. That's the frustration that I think I have with this is that it's making people not want to mess with the market and with the game. And it's also going to ban people who are wrongfully banned like myself. Also, as I'm making this video, I've been constantly looking over at my phone to see if I have any notification like this, right? This is a common notification that you see, right? We noticed your account was involved in cheating. Because of this, we have suspended your access. Or we noticed that your account was involved in coin transferring and online coin manipulation, whatever. Nothing. I had no message when I popped in the game. I have no email, no communication whatsoever from EA. And it is just, it's frustrating, man. So it's all sitting with me fresh. And I wanted to make this video because to tell you, don't ever sell a card at minimum price. Don't ever, ever sell a card at maximum price. And I don't think I'm getting my coins back. So this is really a warning to you guys of to be careful. It's just another thing to add to the list that is so annoying when playing this game that you have to worry about something like that. Let the market do what it wants to do, man. Let supply and demand reign. Um, and, and let the players sell what they want to sell players for and, and buy what they want to buy players for. That's my opinion on things. I think they could take more measures into 
finding out which accounts are involved in coin transferring and banning. Hey, guess what? EA, here's a bit of a tidbit of information. Go look at Sam Kerr, this card, and all the other cards that have really, really high price ranges. Just find the ones uh, that have, you know, you can even go on Footbin sales history and look at the Sam Kerr cards that have sold for 2 million coins instead of, um, you know, 200K where she actually is in value. And, you know, you can track accounts that way and, and get some bans in that way. I don't know, guys. It's just so frustrating because the people that are not supposed to be impacted by this are the ones that are impacted by these transfers. So is it all over and done for me? I'm definitely demotivated to trade right now in this game. Um, and I, I do have some coins left. You maybe have noticed I have Ansu Fati, I have Tamori, a couple De Bruins. I, I'm still going to have some coins left over. Luckily, at the time when my coins were wiped, it didn't like wipe the coins or the cards from my account either. It was literally just coins. So I was trading with an Ansu Fati yesterday. His price is down a lot now. He's like just under a million. I bought him for 1.05. Um, I was looking to sell him for close to 1.2 because he has been selling there. But with the market dropping close to full birthday, he is down. Same thing with this Tamori. I'm not going to sell these cards right now because I don't want EA to see any more account activity or market activity on my account so that it makes it way easier for me to explain it to them what happened, right? I also have in my team a Messi that I bought and I might not even sell this guy now because he's so good. This card's incredible, right? Played a, one or two games of him insane. And I think I got a rage quit in the one game or the guy quit it right at the beginning. So it didn't count. I thought I played more than one game with Messi, but this guy was nuts. Um, so, <clears throat> so, um, that's the situation with my account. So if you add all of those coin values together, I should have about two point something mil, two and a half million coins, rough estimate, right? One mil, um, just, uh, uh, below one mil. So like, I guess maybe like 2.7 million coins is what I should have, but I had 2.1 million, uh, before those coins were wiped or 2.2 million. So I have about half the coins that I should be having. I'm going to try to contact EA. And here's another problem with all this, right? You're supposed to go to EA help to, um, to get yourself information on why you were banned and, and all that sort of thing. But we know that EA help is just not very helpful at all with these sorts of things. And maybe it's for a reason that we don't know that they can't share information with us. But yeah, guys, um, this is the last thing that I was expecting to see when I logged on um, to Ultimate Team. I mean, I'm going to tell EA, I have screenshots even. Um, when I saw that I got onto this account, uh, my main account, when I got onto the console and I saw that I had no coins, I literally went to my companion app and I screenshotted uh, my coins total in the top section, which um, you can see on this screenshot here shows 2.187. Very, very close. Maybe it's easier to see this way. 2.187 million. That was literally the screenshot that I took uh, right away when I saw on the console that it was, uh, they had gone away. So I know how many coins that I should have back and that they took away, but uh, I don't have a reason. I need to know the reason why did this happen. I just want to have a conversation with somebody at EA and I'll be civil. I'll be civil, more civil than I was in this video. I mean, I'm a pretty civil guy and I'm pretty chill and down to earth, but this is like, this is a problem that's been happening all year long, and I know that's impacted so many people, um, and it's something that EA needs to address and needs to fix. So hopefully I get my coins back. Um, yeah, guys, we'll just go step from step from here on out, and I don't even know, man. Um, yeah, crazy. Does it make me want to spend FC points in this game? <laughs> no, not at all. That is for dang sure. Uh, not at all do I want to do that right now, but also I'm, I'm not an enemy of EA at the same time. I don't look at myself in that way as well. I'm a part of the EA creator network. Um, EA has partnered with me because they, uh, think that I produce good enough content and they like being associated with me and they trust me in a sense. So yeah, man, I don't know. It's just tough because I like being involved with EA because, I like to play by the rules. That's just who I am as a person. I'm not somebody who is a rule breaker. Do I agree with, do I have to agree with everything that they do? Cause I'm in the EA creator network. Absolutely not. And I don't obviously with some of the sentiments that I shared today, you can tell that I don't. Um, so this is really coming from a genuine feeling place for me where I am telling you guys how I feel right now about this whole situation. And that's, I'm making this video once again to tell you guys how to stay clear of this stuff and not get yourself in the same situation that I 
am in. So that's going to be the video for, for today, guys. I'll keep you guys updated with the daily videos and on streams. We'll talk about this more today on Twitch. That link is down below in the description if you want to check us out there. And uh, yeah, I will go forward with half the coins that I have. And hopefully I'll get some communication from EA on why this has happened. But thanks for watching, guys. I love you, dudes. Appreciate the support as always. Peace out.